Hey YouTube, uh, this is David with Richter Scale Studios again. Um, I just noticed I didn't have any good glyphs on the um, battle wagon. And I had some, you know, laying around from the trucks. And I had this one from a bits purchase. And these things are way too big. So um, that's a half inch piece of one millimeter uh, plastic card and some green stuff. And I tried to, um, I got all the... Um, uh, stickers or whatever they are, the uh, transfers from uh, um, Forge World, and I'm trying to copy that one right there. Uh, it's the simplest one right now, and I don't have the best skill. I think the only thing I ever sculpted in is besides filling holes is that um, marker I did of the um, stranded uh, Imperial Guardsman's hair and beard. So um, I hope that looks good. If you have any comp or comments or any kind of um, Hope I can do on this. I did the um, subtractive method. So basically, I just took a big blob, cut it into a square, and started cutting away. Um, I have all kinds of sculpting tools in the water. Uh, best tool, though, is the um, hobby knife. That's the most exact. I've been using all the dental tools and all that, and I have some shapers. But um, I, if you just give me a hobby knife and a toothpick, I'd probably do better than having uh, you know dollar, lots of money invested in uh, dentist tools. So uh, that is it for right now. I'm also going to, after it dries, I'm going to drill it, put some of those bolts like I did in some of the plates on the uh, actual battle wagon. And then I'm probably going to cast them in some resin so I have a bunch of them laying around. And I might do a few more on the half inch and maybe do a couple bigger ones too because I don't know what, if I'm going to do a big, um, I have a mix mash of works right now, but I really, really dig the blood axe camouflage and all that. So, uh, that is it for now. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.